pleased with our win because I think we beat a really good team and I think that's a win that can be part of our resume. And um, one of the things we talked about Wednesday in practice was our defensive identity improving and really being able to rely on it. And that's the only way we won the game tonight. 31% shooting by them. I thought Pat Connaughton did a fabulous job making Ryan and his teammates helped him work for everything he got. Martin's really not scoring, but he goes and grabs 17 rebounds. And I thought when we had a little pressure on us, when it got to two possessions, our offensive efficiency was was smart. So, uh, you know, we, we had to work to win, and I love that first game of the season. Mike, what is it about this team, or where did you, when did you see that this team can't embrace the fact, okay, it's not going to be pretty, and defensively you're going to have to grind it, but let's just go ahead and win a game the way you want it tonight. I think the starters last year really kind of understood, you know, this is how we play to, to, to win. And I, I'm really pleased with Garrick and Cam at this point understanding and, and fitting in with us and not detracting when we substitute. They, they've come a long way of smoothly fitting in. And I'm very impressed with Cam because, you know, he really wasn't involved defensively ever in his life. And he's become a, a little more reliable defensively. But, you know, those guys that start, man, they, they, they've been through a lot together. They are a pretty confident group. And it was great to see that body language where we can't get away from this team. So we got to keep, you know, kind of keep guarding and keep figuring it out all the way down the stretch. Is the body was, was, is the body language something where you're not concerned? Very like poised. You, you can see them and say, yeah, very poised, very poised. You know, uh, um, you know, one of the things I said before the scouting report the other day is um, to remind them of really who they are, especially that starting nucleus. Never panic, always poised. And you know, every time they made it interesting, you know, I thought we really executed or got a key stop or you know made a heck of a play and. Um, I think that'll do us well over the course of five months. Coach, talk about the uh, production you got from Jack. Uh, another double-double. Yeah, he's um, pleased with him, and he really got us jump-started. You know, he gave us that early lead, and we were able to hold on. He, he got us out of the gate. I'm pleased he took that three-point shot. I think I mentioned to some of you at Media Day, it's, it's, it's something that's going to evolve with him because he's got a good stroke. Uh, but he gave us a great presence uh, and blocking some shots. He really helped us at key times. I thought both he and Garrick, Scott Martin always does this, but he and Garrick, you weren't playing much post defense tonight. You were helping out on the floor on curls with guards coming off, and sometimes you had to switch it. I thought Garrick and him were fabulous, and then we're going to watch a lot of film of that tomorrow night. Jack said, I'm playing Monday night. Yeah, it's, it's great to play Monday night because I hope, you know, they don't bang and body me and, and the book's out on him, isn't it? <laughs> where, where you can't, everybody's going to come after Jack. Yeah, they're going to come after him. I mean, I, I got to talk to him about that. I think overall he does a good job keeping his cool, but um, he is going to be uh, mugged, and, and they're going to use fouls on him. And um, I thought for the most part he was really good, uh, and it's going to happen a lot. Coach, obviously a lot of good in this game, but what can you build on? Well, I would like to see, you know, I, I think we're going to shoot free throws better. You know, I mean, we had to overcome that, and, and I'd like to see us get back into a rhythm Monday night. Um, and I think we can shoot it overall a little better than that, even though we haven't shot it great. You know, we haven't ripped it like some of my teams in the past. Um, so when we do get to the foul line, you know, we're going to have to cash in. And that's what this team did last year. They shot free throws, and we, we don't foul much. You don't get to the line much on us. Uh, but what I'd like, I just want us to digest that defensive identity because that's going to have to save us time and time again over the next five months. Surprise at the turnovers? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I thought, you know, defensively, I think Garrick's rushing a little bit. You know, we got to just slow him down. He's so excited. A um, little high for us, but, uh, um, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty good. They made you work. They jammed it in. I thought we did a good job skip passing and driving. You know, we were smart enough to figure it out. And I really like how we adjusted to who we were playing and how they were playing us. And again, that starting nucleus has done that a bunch. What does it say about Scott where, I think that before he scored, he had 16 rebounds and zero points. Yeah, it's, just to be it's, 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 just, it's just a great example of, okay, I'm not scoring, I'm not <laughs> shooting, I'm just, I gotta do this tonight. And he's in every help defensive position and he, he gets every every big rebound, you know, and, and he's done that before. He's 
a guy with a basketball IQ like that always kind of figures out how do I help us win tonight? And when your when your elder statesman has that attitude, that has been, been that has been contagious with the other four starters uh, and the other guys on the team. Do you like the way he's playing in the flow of things, even though it wasn't necessarily? Yeah, practice? yeah, he's good. He you know he he, uh, he swings it for us. He moves. He cuts. He's you know we flow good when he's on the floor and. Um, he probably turned down a couple shots tonight, but you know what? He wasn't shooting well. I like that. You know, he never looked like I got to get myself. I tried to get him going with that out of bounds, that coming out of a timeout, two holding that 15 footer on the baseline. I just thought the law of averages. And he missed that, and he didn't try and say, I got to jump start myself. I'll just, how do I help us win? I'll get 17 rebounds, and I'll guard Colt Ryan every time he curls and beats Pat. So, I, you know, I have so much respect for this guy. Uh, just, he's a thrill to coach. What do you know or expect what you have coming in here Monday? You know, I don't know much. We're going to watch some here. All I know is they beat the heck out of Hofstra by 30. They score 90-something. King Rice, a former North Carolina guard. I hear they were doing a lot of old Dean Smith run and jump where we had old. We had tonight we had Indiana Coach Knight stuff. On Monday we had Dean Smith stuff, which is interesting, and a lot of run and jump. You know, trapping a pass, trapping a dribble, which is how Dean Smith played a lot before the three-point line. He got away from it with the three-point line. Uh, but I've got to digest them here this afternoon, and then we'll come in tomorrow and and uh, talk about them and turn it around and prepare. Do you like doing the Saturday Monday thing right away just to get? You yeah, yeah. I, I talked to him. I said, you know, uh, this is a good uh, warm up for four pivotal Saturday Mondays in Big East season. So you know, let's let's practice this thing and be really good at it. Thank you, gentlemen. BPC, baby.